Selecting a domain name for your business is a big decision. After all, your domain is going to serve as your web address, your brand, a huge marketing lever, and everything in between. So make sure you pick a good one and you love it because you're going to be using it a lot. Now, your domain is what customers will use to find you. So this means keep it simple so they can remember it and get back to your store again and again. You're going to want to resist the urge to include difficult or incorrect spellings as well as those unknown acronyms. You don't want to make it a challenge for people to find you. After all, there's a lot of competition out there, so creating obstacles, probably not what you want. So for instance, if you already have a brick and mortar business and you're trying to bring that business online, you'll likely want to keep your domain name the same as your business name. Now, if you're moving your store to Big Commerce, you're going to want to keep your domain name the same. This is going to help existing customers follow you and just prevent confusion overall down the line. Whether you've come already prepared with your domain name or you want to purchase a domain name from BigCommerce, you'll want to go to Settings, Domain Name, under Server Settings. Here you can choose to use an existing domain name. This is for those of you who have purchased your domain from an outside registrar like Namecheap, GoDaddy, or Register.com. The second option allows for you to check the availability of your preferred domain name and purchase it directly through BigCommerce. Simply type in your idea and then check availability. Then you'll just follow the prompts to purchase from your control panel. This will charge your BigCommerce account and your domain will automatically be applied to your store. No muss, no fuss. However, for those of you who want to purchase a domain name from an outside registrar and use it on your BigCommerce store, the rest of this video will help you get there. Okay, select Use an Existing Domain Name and then type the name of the domain you already own. The next step involves pointing your name servers from your registrar to BigCommerce. This means you need to go to your domain registrar, like Namecheap.com, GoDaddy, whoever you bought your domain name from. Then enter the three BigCommerce name server addresses. All you're doing is telling your registrar that you're going to be hosting your domain name and all its files on BigCommerce. It sounds complicated and there are a few steps, but it's actually pretty easy. For this example, let's use GoDaddy.com. Make sure you're logged in to GoDaddy and then click on My Account. Then you'll want to open up your Domain Manager. Now you should see the domain you purchased and would like to use for your store. Click the small settings wheel and then Domain Details. You'll see an area for name servers. Click on the Manage link below the name server addresses. First you'll see the default name servers, which are actually GoDaddy's. This means your domain is currently pointing to GoDaddy, and we want to make sure we're directing your domain to BigCommerce. So this is where the switch comes in. Select Custom, and then enter custom name servers. Enter these BigCommerce addresses to point your name servers to BigCommerce. From here, click OK, and then Save, and you're all set. Now we do have to wait for the domain name to propagate, so hold tight, because you might not be able to see the change in the front end of your store right away. Propagation can take anywhere from five minutes to 48 hours, depending on where in the world you're located compared to your server and registrar. Now, we're not quite done yet. When you pointed your name servers to BigCommerce, your email was redirected to BigCommerce as well. You may want to reroute your email back to a specific provider, and you can easily do that from right within your control panel or you can simply forward your emails to a preferred email address. The faster you update your email preferences, the less likely you're gonna see an interruption in service. So you have two options here, forwarding and rerouting. Here's how to do both. To get your emails to forward, first click on Settings and then select DNS Records. BigCommerce automatically sets up a forwarding address so that you can start receiving emails at your new domain right away. This is great for marketing and branding purposes. Within the Mail Servers tab, the first email, info, will be forwarded to the email address that you signed up with. This can be replaced with a different email address if you prefer. You can create up to five forwarding email addresses. Just click Add Another, and feel free to make whatever address that you think your store is going to need. Now, if you already have email hosting somewhere else, you can also reroute your MX records back to your email host by choosing the next option. You'll just need to list your email provider's MX records right here. For an in-depth article on routing your MX records, click here to learn more.
Great, you're ready to start selling under your branded domain name. This is a big deal, so congratulations.